example, a college survey was taken to determine where students study. Of 121 students surveyed, 77 studied in the library, 64 studied in the student union, and 28 studied in both the library and the student union. Given that raw data, we might ask how many students only studied in the library? One way to approach that would be to set up a Venn diagram. We would need to decide what each set was going to represent and how many items were in each set, how many students. What are the characteristics that we're analyzing? Well, we're analyzing where they study, which could be the library or the student union. So we're going to let set A represent students that studied in the library, and we're gonna let set B represent students that studied in the student union. And now we're gonna look at the facts that we know about each. When it says 121 students surveyed, that's telling you the total number of students. So that's the number in the universal set U which they're referring to. So that's 121. Now a lot of times students start to write 121 in this part of the diagram because that looks like that's where U is. But remember U is referring to all the regions, all four of them. And if I write 121 there, that looks like it's just in region four and that would be incorrect. Another fact that we know is 77 studied in the library. So that's referring to the total number in the set A is 77. By the way, that refers to regions one and two, just like 121 referred to regions one, two, three, and four. All right, and then the next fact we know is that 64 studied in the student union. So that's referring to the number in the set B, which is comprised of regions two and three. And then the last fact is 28 studied in both the library and the student union. So the number in A intersect B, remember intersection means and. So those that studied in both the library and the student union is referring to 28 students in region two, just the overlap between the two. All right, so now we're gonna fill in how many is in each region. And when you do that, you look at each of your four facts here and you start with this one, the intersection, because it's describing exactly how many are in a single region. See, I can't start, for example, with the number in B, because I know there's 64, but that could mean there's 60 and four, or it could mean there's 60 and four, or it could mean there are 62 and two, we just don't know. So we're going to start with what we absolutely do know, which is that in the overlap, the intersection, region two, there were exactly 28. And then you work your way outwards, subtracting. So for example, now that we've used that one, let's cross it off. What would be another fact that only describes two regions and it includes region two? Well, we could go to the number in B, for example, because that describes regions two and three. So if in two and three there are 64 total, then we can find region three by subtracting 64 minus the 28 we've already taken into consideration. 64 minus 28 is going to be, let's see, 36 students that just studied in the student union, not, um, but not in the library. That's what region three describes. All right, and so we're done with that fact, and now we're gonna move on to another fact. The number in A would be helpful because that's describing regions one and two, and again, we already know region two, so we can figure out region one. We know that spread out across regions one and two, there are a total of 77, but we've already accounted for the 28 that are in the overlap. So subtracting, we would have 49 students that are just in region one. In other words, that ju just study, study in the library, but not in the student union. So we're done with that fact. Now we have one fact left to go, which is the total number in the whole universal set. That includes regions one, two, three, and four. Well, we've already labeled regions one, two, and three, so we could use this fact to get the remaining region four. To get region four, we would take 121 minus the 49 in region one, the 28 in region two, and the 36 in region three. This leaves eight students 
left to be placed in region four. In some problems, this will be the end of the exercise. All we'll ask you to do is to determine the cardinality of each region. And you would say region one has 49, region two has 28, region three has 36, and region four has eight. Sometimes though, we'll follow up with a, a question about the data. For example, we might ask how many students studied only in the library? And that's referring to region one. So the answer to that question would be 49. Or we might ask how many studied in neither the library nor the student union? And that's referring to region four. So the answer to that would be eight. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. That helps other students to find the video.